In this video we are playing Find the Fookins. So we're starting off round spawn. I will say the characters in this game are so sweet and cute. I absolutely love them. So this Fookin here, you need to join the group in order to collect it. We don't join groups here in Judgment TV, so unfortunately we can't get that one, but you can. As with all our videos, if you do get stuck or you can't find a Fookin, do drop me a comment. I will always try and help you the best that I can. I do love the maps, I love the characters in this game, um, it's really really well made, I really really enjoy playing this game. I love the fact the rapper said Twex, it's kind of like the rip off Twix, <laughs> kind of like the Nick Nikes, you know. So what's nice um, about this game is that we do have the sprint button. Um, when you unlock the teleport pads, which I will show you in the video, you do get then get the three teleports around the map, which is good. So once you have collected all the orbs, I will show you their locations as we go through each section of the map. This portal will open um, and then you'll be able to come in here and collect the popcorn foodkin. Really peculiar, there must be an Alice in Wonderland fans. Those specs, the kind of spec bird, is from Alice in Wonderland. So what I absolutely love about this game is that you have to become fat and thin to complete certain um, kind of puzzles or tasks. character actually looks like it's out of breath. Oh, it's so funny. So we're going around the kind of mountain area now. So here's one of the teleport pads that I was talking about. So you just need to run over them and then they are open then. And what is super helpful in this game um, that I really do like is with the kind of um, credit that you earn for finding um, the foodkins in the index, you can actually buy a hint um, and the hint basically gives you a quick demo where the foodkin is hiding. Um, I really like that. So here's where we need to go fat, so anything with a crack you need to go into the big version of yourself. Around the mountain it says you find pieces and um, this is in order to get your spaceship um, and you can go up and get the foodkin in space. I will show you where all the other pieces are as I come across them.
so the game is telling us again that we need to do our back sound. I should just play the game like this because I absolutely love the way it runs. <laughs> Cracks me up. But we will morph back into our usual avatar. So we need to get the patty off the dog. <laughs> I've tried numerous different ways and you have to be the fat version of yourself and then the dog chases you, which is so mean because you can't run that quick when you're in this version of yourself. <laughs> but however, you can then get the big patty off the dog. Um, and just a word of warning, he does still chase after you. <laughs> if you do not morph back into your normal size or the thinner version of yourself, the dog will just continue to chase you. I just thought like how long would he give chase for? So I'm just like, oh yeah, you know, I want to see how far around the map this actual wolf will chase me. Turns out he'll chase you pretty far. Oh and he still got me. <laughs> I obviously angered him for taking his beef patty off him. So here is one of the orbs you will need for the portal area in the spawn. So we need to go into the stick version of ourself and I don't know why this version of the avatar seems to remind me of the illustrations in George's Marvelous Medicine if you've ever read Roald Dahl and seen the illustrations in that book it looks just like them <laughs>
we have to find five green mushrooms and turn them a different colour by walking into them. Obviously I will show you where they all are. eating invisible food. <laughs> I've got nothing in my hand. <laughs> like kind of Aldi's version of the uh, of the food they're always a bit cheeky with what they call their food compared to the actual label product so we've got a random tent there I was really surprised there wasn't a food can in there um, don't know if that's gonna be there for another update If you are enjoying this video or any other from Judgment TV, please support the channel and subscribe. So this one, I did try um, in the weekday and the clue for the food kit is weekend. So I came back on a Saturday and lo and behold, it was here. I think you do have to be playing the game on a Saturday or a Sunday for that gateway to open. ever brave enough to try would be the fried scorpion and because we've got the five green mushrooms we then can get the caramel custard so there's lots of ways into the city and um, there is these birds that take you up to the rooftop which you need to get to but we do need to be our skinny selves so the first bird will take you over to the first rooftop.
Hopefully they are the most rubbish security guards because I've got past that no problem. So there is these trusts that kind of appear and then disappear. And I see loads of people trying to climb them, but you can just climb up the side and build it. Like, I tried to show loads of people that you didn't need to do that course and just climb up the side. Just a bit of a hack for this game. Don't bother, just climb up the side of the building. All you need to do is catch it. Don't need to bother with any of that next door. So we can just see the invisible walkway over to Milk. This is a puzzle, so you need to do it in the order of the buildings. Starting with the smallest one first. Just jump on them until they go green. Sometimes it took a couple of jumps to get it to turn on. Probably jump from the top and hit that one.
you have to go into the thinner version of yourself to get the coconut water and <laughs> you can't just kind of cheat and go around the outside to just block you. Please support the channel and subscribe. We are so grateful for every single subscriber to the channel. So you need to kind of set yourself on fire. I kind of did this by accident before I even knew where to take it. <laughs> So do you remember that area with the hats um, in front of the kind of temple? We need to take the bars back to that area. So we can snowballize ourselves. It's a tiny bit hard to control. But when you 
you are at the optimum size of 650, it is time to smash the page. I would be interested to see how many people um, would try the relevant different sizes. If those signs wasn't there, um, just to up the difficulty of the game, perhaps slightly. So we've got hot cocoa, and we've got the cheese cake. So again, we've got to do our snowball to smash the cage. This will only work with the lemon cheesecake or the lemon cake. Do you remember the torch over in desert? Well, what melts ice but fire? And if you have the teleport pads open, that really does help. Although technically, hot cocoa being hot would melt the ice in itself. <laughs> so this is one of the new ones on the last update. Um, for some reason it would not let me pick it up so I couldn't get this Fukin which is quite frustrating. I tried all the snowmen and it wouldn't do anything. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon, bye!